I'm Juliet. I'm a multidiscipline bike racer. I compete in races and events such as Tuscany Trail, um, Grinduro, bikepacking and gravel events, stuff like that. I start the day with a coffee. As soon as I get up, I put the mocha pot on the stove and then I get all my stuff ready, my gym kit, my bike, which always takes a little while. And then right before I head out, I have another coffee and that makes me feel really energized and I really think that it enhances my performance on the bike. My name is Dr. Neil Clark and I'm a sport nutrition researcher and the course director for sport and exercise nutrition at Coventry University. From a sport performance perspective, the key component of coffee is caffeine. Now caffeine is an adenosine antagonist. Under normal circumstances, adenosine connects to tissue within the brain that promotes sleepiness. But because caffeine and adenosine share the same structure, they can cross the blood-brain barrier and a caffeine can attach to receptors within the brain. This means our exercising muscles can contract more forcefully and more regularly. My training varies from week to week. An average would be about 12 hours of time on the bike or in the gym, that kind of thing. I have to consume a lot of calories, which kind of sounds fun, like you can just eat anything you want, but actually um, it's really important that you zone in on the nutrients that are gonna be beneficial to you. So coffee consumption has been shown to improve endurance performance, where people cycle for a long period of time. It's also been shown to improve sprint performance, but it's also been shown to show aspects such as weightlifting and, and people's ability to jump. A recent study on five kilometer time trials showed that the consumption of coffee prior to exercise improved performance in those people that habitually drank a large amount of coffee or a small amount. Drinking coffee um, helps sharpen me up mentally, you know, and that's useful throughout the day, whether I'm in mum mode, bike racing mode, or I'm sat at my desk working on my computer. There's always a perception that coffee causes dehydration. However, recent research suggests that a moderate amount of coffee throughout the day can actually be beneficial and contribute to someone's fluid intake and maintain a healthy body fluid balance. So coffee should always be consumed in moderation. Uh, the European Food Standards Agency recommend between three and five cups a day. So from a practical application, it's always a good idea to start with the smallest amount usable. So maybe that's starting with one cup of coffee, see how that works. Does someone's exercise improve with that? Because we want to make sure we get that balance, but it should definitely be tried in practice first rather than someone trying it in a competitive environment. So for me, coffee and cycling go hand in hand. I mean, socially, coffee rides are a real thing. And then from a performance perspective, well, it perks me up, helps me ride longer, ride faster. What's not to like, really? I mean, I just love coffee anyway, so any excuse. So the ingestion of coffee uh, prior to cycling can be beneficial. So taking coffee about an hour before exercise can improve their performance. This means they should be able to cycle for longer at high intensity and enhance their performance. From a more recreational aspect, it can also increase cognition, uh, alertness and arousal, which might make people safer out on the road when commuting. 